Hi guys, it's been a while, but my name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Purple Hyacinth, episode 111. So I haven't read this in almost a couple months or a month or so. So I'm very behind and let's get started. Art. That's all there is in the file for this car accident, Lieutenant Hawks. Would you like a copy to be transferred to your precinct? Yes, please. As soon as possible. Thank you, officer. Have a good day. Where are you, Lauren? What happened to you? It's been two days and you still haven't shown up. I've seen you burst into flames and the next day we're told you've been in a car accident and recovering at home? Who the hell made this up? And if you truly are safe, why haven't you given any sign of life? And at that, Tristan's still unreachable. Please be all right. Somewhere. Anywhere. Just... Dring. Huh? Hello? Uh. Oh, Kim, careful. Oh. Mm. Lauren. Oh. oh, Kim, she has a cane. It's fine. I deserve that. Why didn't you tell me? Oh. Okay. I don't know how loud this is going to be, but hopefully you guys can hear on your end over here. Here we go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 111. Oh, I might read to 112 as well. Let's see. I told Kim and Will everything about our search of the seventh apostle, how we hoped it would be lead us to the leader, about my parents being apostles, what Kieran told me on that bridge, the abduction of two children from the train station, the place where I found the hat never made sense to me, and I had been right. If only we had looked harder, Back then, I told my dear friends everything. Well, almost. I escaped the factory through a broken window and took advantage of the confusion to run away unnoticed. And your fandom's partner? He didn't survive. He was holding the bomb when it went off. Lauren, I'm, I'm sorry about your partner. His death saved so many other lives. It's what he would have wanted. He was a hero to the end. Oh God, Lauren, what did you get yourself into? We thought you were dead this whole time. I know. I am so sorry, Kim. I called you as soon as I could. What was his name again? Your partner? Thomas Sh Shepard. Thomas Shepard? This guy. Where did they find this guy? But this entire time, I thought he was... I can't tell you any more about him or his role in the Phantom Scythe. Anything you know about Loon puts all of us in danger. I can just tell you that he was a good man and that Loon is gone for good. They know Kieran 
and everyone knows at least one of Loon must have been part of the Phantom Sight. They'll be obligated to report him, and I can't put them in that position. Besides, he always protected me. Now it's my turn. <laughs> so, do you think I look lively enough to show up to work? I can walk, I can... I just can't use my arm. You crazy bitch. <laughs> I feel like the longer I stay away, the more Herman will think his suspicions were right. My injuries weren't supposed to be too bad after all. Your car accident is believable. Trust me. Please sit down. I don't know if I should be relieved or concerned that Tristan pulled it off so well. Your maid also deserves a raise. Despite the number of times we called or tired tried coming here, she refused to let us in or talk to you. If the chief of police is covering for you, you'll be fine. Herman has no choice but to keep his suspicions to himself. As far as everyone else is concerned, the only thing left of Loon are charred rem remnants. Don't push yourself, Lauren. But... You've done enough for now. Because of you, we removed all the nitro from the basement and the army is moving it to a safe storage site. We also arrested the factory owner, Elvira Lloyd, and a couple of phantom stragglers. We might even stand a chance at extracting some information from them. If you don't listen, I will have no choice but to expose your identity, Lauren. That is not fair. <laughs> At least he was lying and kidding. Do you hear that? Sounds like there's a gathering not, not too far. Hmm. Huh? From that day on, nothing was the same. I entrusted my secret, my life to them. The city now knew the threat was real. The two vigilantes known as Loon are presumed dead since the incident at the Lloyd's Glass Factory. In light of recent events and for reasons of national security, the royal court has instu instuate, instituated the following measures, effective immediately. And implemented drastic new measures to keep its people safe. As of today, a curfew has been put into place. No citizen can be outside of their residence past 10 p.m. without a valid reason. But I would learn only too late. There will be day and night increased police presence in public places. Officers will have to, the right to stop and interrogate whoever that appears suspicious. But even small victories always came with a price. A month later. What did you want to tell me? I made you come all the way here, over here. Nera. Lauren. He's dead. Huh? Oh, he's still in there? Oh. Alright, lowering my volume a little bit more. Here we go. Purple Hyacinth, episode 112. Are you sure you will be alright, my lady? I think the hardest part is behind me. It's so good to have you back. How has Uncle Tristan been in this the last days? He was worried out of his mind. I've never seen him like this before. I forced him to eat and drink, but 
I don't think he slept a wink since the factory incident. He's been better since he learned to be back home today. I see. Thank you for taking care good care of him. I can't wait for him to be back. I still haven't seen him since the incident. He should be home very soon, though. Thank you for everything, Lucy. You're the best. All right. In that case, I'm going back down to prepare some soup and your favorite meal. If there is anything else that you would like, please call for me. Will do. Thank you again, Lucy. Camera's right. Lucy really does deserve a raise. Kim. Lauren. He's been better since he learned you'll be back home today. Oh, she's so bruised up. Uh, damn it. I never wanted to get them involved. As for you, I don't want you in my life outside of this. I don't want people I care about involved ever. What we do together stays between us. Understood? But in the end, I still did. Tristan. Dakin. Kim. And will I only wanted to put an end to the phantom sight and find a truth about Dylan I thought I would be protecting them apparently the writers hold his own theatrics in a very high esteem hilarious and pretentious by hiding under the cover of Loon and bringing phantoms to justice. Finding the Apostle and then the leader. But the truth often comes out in ugly ways. I wrecked havoc, havoc in their lives. I hurt all of them in the process. What have I done? What rights do I have to... Should you really keep doing this? What? Oh no. <gasps> the art is so good. Hello? Detective? Huh? Oh my gosh! Karen? What are you? Are you crazy? Only for you. <laughs> nice wink. Uh, so, would she slam it in his face? Ow. Not even inviting me in for tea after I climbed up here? Why does nobody know how to use the goddamn front door? Rude. Oh. <laughs> No one asked you to break in. My uncle and godfather will be home any minute, minute and you and could see you. How did you even know this was my room and I was changing, god dead? Don't worry. Not that I saw anything, but even if I did, it wouldn't be a big as a deal. I already had to help the doctor change your clothes, so... Uh, huh? <laughs> I made my pay up. Huh? Hmm. So anyways, what are you doing here? Pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Dropped by to check in on you. Huh? What? You saw me just a few hours ago. And? Just wanted to make sure my favorite detective didn't accidentally trip over another bomb in those few hours. Haha, <laughs> very funny. After yesterday's event, we both know the odds are slim, but not impossible. How did you even climb up here without breaking your neck? Were you supposed to rest? 
Are you even human? I've seen worse days. Hmm. I am fine. Aching, but fine. Considering everything. Still having trouble believing we're still alive after all that. It's a revolution. Does if a revolution does erupt, I am afraid it won't be the last time we come to this close to death. At least we brought Artelis more, more. At least we bought Artelis more time. On the bright side, Loon's grand finale was quite spectacular, if you ask me. Explode. Don't. Sif. Even. Just shut up. <laughs> At least we won't have to worry about being hunted down by both the Phantom Scythe and the APD anymore. Luna's very much dead now. Hope my bosses will think as much. What's going to happen to you? Now that your targets died before you could get to your hands on them. After beating... After the beating he got and all the fights, his body couldn't withstand more. Though he still got enough strength to climb walls, apparently. Is that concern in your voice, Detective? <laughs> oh my. If I had known all it takes is me getting roughed up a little. <laughs> I'll manage as always. You don't need to worry. Will you really be alright, though? So, how did it go with your friends? Oh, it went better than I expected. Seeing them safe and well after everything we've been through was a huge relief. We talked through everything, but I feel like both of them were trying to be understanding of my situation and didn't really talk about their side of things. I feel like I haven't properly apologized yet. <sighs> Anyways, I told them about Loon, but I said my partner died in an explosion. How much are you going to tell them about us? Still got the fake identities you had made for Loon by any chance? They might sus suspect it's you, but... I think they understood why I've handed them the fake ID. Too smart for their own good, those two. But I think they can be trusted to keep the secret. Are you sure your doctor can as well? Took several years, but the guys earned my trust. He's the only doctor I trust and let close to me, actually. He knows stuff on me, but I know stuff on him that will get him much more trouble. So we're kind of mutually agreed to stay quiet and keep to ourselves. And he's never spilled the beans so far. But he knows very well who he's dealing with. You could argue that it was risky to bring him in, but he was the best option I could think of. I see. So look, huh? I don't. I'm glad you're okay. You scared me for a hot second the other night when you passed out. I know you've never wanted to endanger or involve your family or friends in this. You can stay longer at my place or at the cave if you need to. If you don't feel like it's safe or don't feel like returning to the real world yet. I'll be fine. Really. I appreciate everything you did for me. Thank you for taking care of me and... Coming to check in on me. Thank you for not leaving me in the fire. Please. Please wake up. Kieran! Yeah. No, of course. Huh? Oh, he's gone. Alright, let's do this. Come in. Keep it cool. I just
to explain everything like you did with Kim and Will earlier. Hey. They're shaking. L Lauren. Just keep it cool and explain everything. L Lauren. Why is my voice not? Lauren. Oh God, you're okay. <laughs> mm. Uncle, Dak and I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I never wanted to hurt hurt you guys and Kim and or, or Will. I I am so so sorry for what I've you've gone through because of me. I'm sorry I didn't tell you and that you all had to find it out this way. Me out of anybody knows how scary this all must have felt felt. But I still <laughs> Everything's okay, Lord. All that matters is that you're right. I'm sorry. That's all that matters. <sighs> oh. So weak. Need a moment to digest that. Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad Lauren was able to tell her friends what happened. And the scene of her just breaking down and crying to her uncle, like, obviously me reading it to you guys doesn't, it does not make it justice on it. It does not bring it justice. And I don't know if I did well reading that, but I try not to tear up. Reading that, and it might have ruined y'all's, yeah, y'all experience on the whole dialogue there. But I hope I did some justice, justice to it. But it's sad. You can tell how much she loves them. You know how much she cares and wants to protect them. But at the same time, she came and protect herself, and she needs to be around to solve this issue. Because without her, honestly, this revolution thing gonna happen and everyone's gonna get wiped out. So she needs to power through this. And I really do hope Kieran isn't end up being gone because it's gonna be so sad. Ah, but they're collecting our tears. <laughs> As we both know, we all know. Ah. But it's a lot to digest. A lot, a lot of emotions in this one. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!